picture this. You're crammed into your airline seat. The guy in front of you is fully reclined. Screaming babies are kicking your seat. You could use a top shelf drink. Good news. Ariel Wesler says from craft beers to fancy liqueurs, high flying cocktails are what's trending. At 30,000 feet, you still won't see your flight attendant doing this. At least you shouldn't. But airlines are now offering a better selection of alcoholic drinks. Consumers particularly are demanding a lot higher quality spirits and cocktails. They have a lot more knowledge than they ever did, and that's due to things um, like YouTube and the internet. It's one of the oldest cocktails in history. Anthony Caporelli is an expert on cocktails and spirits. He also hosts the off-Broadway show The Imbible, a spirited history of drinking. What I'm seeing is, um, first of all, a lot more craft brands on airlines. They're actually offering um, drinks that, that you can order like you'd order at a bar, as opposed to just saying, give me an airplane bottle of whiskey and a can of Coca-Cola. Virgin America serves up a cucumber mojito from the Austin Cocktails Collection. Delta Airlines recently released its Jack and Joe specialty cocktail featuring Jack Daniels, Bailey's Irish Cream, and hot or iced coffee. Meanwhile, Alaska Air has teamed up with regional companies like Sun Liquor in Seattle and Ben Distillery in Oregon to offer cocktails with a twist. If you feel like a Moscow mule, the airline gives you the ingredients and you make the drink at your seat. Southwest and JetBlue have jumped on board as well, offering a selection of rotating seasonal beers and reserve wines. If you're picky about the taste of your wine, you may want to have a glass before your flight. Altitude can actually affect your sense of taste and smell, so your favorite glass of wine on the ground may not be as great in the air. To solve that problem, some airlines have partnered with winemakers who test different blends on flights until they find the right recipe. Either way, the future of cocktails in the cabin is soaring. It certainly makes my life a lot more interesting and a lot more fun. And it might just be worth giving the beverage cart a second look.